just in time, okay? <laughs> Distinguished authorities, prosecutors, police, dear colleagues, good morning to you all. Please be welcome to the city of Barcelona. I promise I will, I will be brief now. I wish you that we all enjoy these days, days that promise to be intense, and also that you enjoy, of course, not only the study visit, but your stay in the city that will be used during these three, two, three days. I have to say that it's with great enthusiasm that I see you all again in this project from the ISEC program of the European Union, as you know, dedicated to the prevention and the fight against corruption. As you know, these days will be devoted to corruption in the private sector, and more specifically, to the criminal liability of legal persons, trading companies, as well as compliant programs. We will show you the Spanish regulations in this subject. At the same time, that will be De de develop an intense presentation of what is the mandate of the Anti-Fraud Office of Catalonia institution, as you know, that I run. Today, the head prosecutor of Catalonia, His Excellency Mr. José María Romero de Tejada, is accompanying me in this welcome. But before giving him the floor, I would like to summarize a couple of ideas. The way of doing business affects a lot of people, for example, the stakeholders, employees, clients, providers, consumers, and society at large. Because of this, companies have before society the responsibility and the duty to behave in an ethical manner, with integrity. And the best way to fulfill this duty is to implement within companies effective systems of prevention. Because preventing corruption in companies is fundamental to avoid unfair competition and consumer fraud. It's not surprising that our legislator in Spain has introduced in its criminal code the criminal liability of legal person, the criminal liability, liability of trading companies. Throughout this reform, a company can be declared as an author of a crime, despite that who commits the crime is a physical person, a physical person that is who runs or represents the company. And precisely in this scenario, it is foreseen that companies, through their legal representatives, should give a strict fulfillment to an obligation, the implementation of the due control system of legal compliance and crime prevention, with the aim to prevent that the company incur in contingencies of criminal nature, and that is, administrators do not incur either in a serious risk of personal responsibility. Only throughout the implementation of a due system of crime, of crime prevention, the conviction to society could be avoided. It's clear that phrase like this, it seems simple, but the truth is that this subject has become among legal experts and practitioners the question that has provoked more discussion and debate. Therefore, Along these days, we will have the opportunity to know and to analyze the position maintained by the Justice Administration as well as the vision from companies. I have promised to be brief, and I conclude. But before giving the floor to His Excellency, the Public Prosecutor, I would like to wish you again a pleasant stay among us. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to ask us anything that you consider necessary. I finish. I would have wanted to be with you all in this morning, but unfortunately, I have to leave for unexpected and consequential problems. However, I hope to stay with you this afternoon. I promise, I hope. And also, I would like to introduce the speakers, but I'm sure that Mrs. Marisa Miralles and Mr. Rogelio Grajal will take care of it perfectly. Thank you very much. And now, His Excellency, you have the floor. Querido José María, tienes la palabra. Muchas gracias, Daniel Alfonso. Thank you very much, Mr. Daniel de Alfonso. En primer lugar, quería saludar 
a todos los asistentes que habéis venido de fuera. First of all, I would like to greet all the attendants that have come from abroad. Si no me acuerdo mal, de Estonia, de Letonia, de Dinamarca. If I don't remember badly, from Estonia, uh, Letonia, Denmark. Eh, quiero también saludar a mis compañeros fiscales presentes aquí en este acto y a todos los compañeros y amigos de la Oficina Antifraude. I would like also to greet uh, my colleagues, uh, the public prosecutors that are here today, as well as also my colleagues and friends of the Antifraud Office of Catalonia. El marco en el que se van a desarrollar estas jornadas, como habéis visto todos vosotros, todos ustedes, vaya, es magnífico. The framework in which in which uh, this uh, seminar is going to take place, as you have already seen, is magnificent. Y ya vamos a entrar en el tema principal por lo cual todos hemos venido aquí. And I'm going to now enter in the main subject for which we have all here uh, gathered today. El tratamiento de la corrupción privada. The treatment of private corruption. Que ya se introdujo en España en el año 2010. That was already introduced in Spain in 2010. Y esta op, ha sido objeto, esta figura delictiva, de una modificación. And it has been the object of a reform. En el que se han introducido dos artículos más. In which two new articles have been introduced. Y se ha modificado el título original. And the original title has been also modified. Y ahora vienen definidas como corrupción en los negocios. And now it comes defined in the law as corruption in business. Es necesario destacar. It is necessary to highlight. La importancia que tuvo la decisión marco del año 2003. The importance of the framework decision of 2003. Del Consejo de la Unión Europea. Of the Council of the European Union relativo a la lucha contra la corrupción entre los particulares. Relating to the fight against corruption in the private sector. Venía a decir esta decisión, Marco, the preamble of the framework decision said que las conductas de soborno en los negocios entre particulares distorsionan la competencia. That the uh, bribery conducts between particular distort competition respecto de la adquisición de bienes o servicios comerciales e impiden un desarrollo económico sólido distort competition in relation to the purchase of goods or commercial services and impedes sound economic development es necesario pues regular las reglas de la competencia it is necessary then to regulate the rules of competition. Por otro lado, tenemos que la ley también del año 2010 dice que la, para tener una competencia justa y honesta pasa por la represión de los actos encaminados a corromper a los administradores de, de entidades privadas. Also, the law of 2010 says that um, the, perdón, sí, la represión de los actos encaminados a corromper a los administradores de entidades privadas. Also represses the acts of briberies of administrators in private entities. De forma similar a lo que se hace a través del delito de cohecho. In a similar manner that is done through the crime of bribery. Porque con estas conductas se rompen las reglas del buen funcionamiento del mercado. Because with these conducts, the uh, good functioning of the market rules are broken. La importancia del problema es grande si se repara en la repercusión que pueden tener las decisiones empresariales no solo para sus protagonistas, sino para otras muchas personas. The importance of the problem is great if you realize the impact that might have company decisions, not only for the main actors, but also for many other persons. La idea esencial es garantizar una competencia justa y honesta. The essential idea is to guarantee a fair and honest competition. 
para un buen funcionamiento del mercado. For a proper functioning of the market. En la actualidad, la corrupción se entiende como un grave problema por la opinión pública. Currently, corruption is perceived as a great problem by the public opinion. Es necesario enviar a la sociedad la idea de que se combate la corrupción. It is necessary to send a clear message to society that corruption is fighted. La sensación de impunidad que tiene las, que en muchas ocasiones tiene la ciudadanía en relación a los delitos de corrupción hace que se pierda la confianza en las instituciones y en última instancia por un modelo de convivencia que nos hemos dado entre todos. The sensation of impunity of corruption crimes that uh, in many occasions have the citizens provokes the loss of trust in relation with public institutions and ultimately with the model of coexistence that we have created among us. La colaboración internacional es a día de hoy y cada vez lo será más uno de los elementos relevantes e imprescindibles para poder combatir la corrupción. International collaboration is nowadays and increasingly one of the relevant elements and essential to be able to combat corruption. Sin embargo, este marco internacional de colaboración no es sencillo. However, this international framework of collaboration is not easy. Ni siquiera en el ámbito estrictamente europeo. Not even in the strictly European sphere. Pues el derecho penal es un ámbito muy vinculado a la identidad propia y a la soberanía nacional de cada Estado. Because criminal law is a sphere really linked to the own identity and to the national sovereignty of uh, each country. Por ello, será necesario continuar perseverando a fin de que cada día mejore esta colaboración internacional. It is because of this that it will be necessary to persist in order that every day this international collaboration becomes better. Y sea más efectiva la lucha contra una laca que afecta a todas las sociedades modernas. And that the fight against this scourge that affects all modern societies becomes also more effective. Muchas gracias y que tengan mucho éxito en estas jornadas. Thank you very much and a lot of success in your study visit here in Barcelona. Now, if you prefer, we can take a break about five minutes before the first, the first speech. And I wish you the exit also like my, my colleagues, the head prosecutor of Catalonia. Thank you very much for coming and please be welcome to City of Barcelona how to stay and to and these days will be fruitful for all of you and of course for all of us thank you very very much <laughs>